Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a McDonald's fast food restaurant with a drive-thru. Mm -mm, I'm loving it. As some of you may know, McDonald's is my favorite fast food. So it was a pleasure to design and make this for you. I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. Not just McDonald's, but also the build too. I will be showing you how to make absolutely everything, so please do make it to the end of the video where I will also show you how to build the inside as well, that you might even be able to get a nice sneaky peek at right now. If you are new around here, all I would say is please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with all of these city builds. We are slowly making loads and loads of city builds and I want you guys to be around for it. Leave some suggestions, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much to everybody that's been supporting the series. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so something you should know before we start building is this tutorial is split into two parts. The first part, you are going to need all of these materials that you can see on the screen right now. Make sure that you have all of those and enough of them as well. Those are going to be for the outside of the build. So literally everything you see from the outside of the build, as you can see it. However, once we have completed the outside, of course, we are going to be focusing on the inside of the build, which requires all of these materials that you can see on the screen right now. Please make sure that you have access to those as well. You might even want to gather them right now. However, you don't have to do that just yet. I will be showing you those again at the appropriate time, but just do make sure that you are going to be prepared when the time comes. The amount of space required is a 20 5 by 27 block area. This will allow you to make the drive through and absolutely everything that you would have seen at the start of the video. I would highly recommend making this grid in your world if you are planning out a city. Now, that's all the boring stuff out of the way. Pause the video if you have to. Gather those materials, make sure you've got enough room, make sure you're ready, and once you are, you can place your order. So, step one, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that we are going to do once we are ready to build is come all the way to the front left-hand corner of our grid. From this front left-hand corner, I'm going to count inwards to the right, one, two, three, and four. And then inwards towards the center, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now, if you have built this grid, we are starting in the exact same place. On top of this block, I want you to place three white concrete. One, two, three. Place a red on top and extend it to the right by 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then connect it down to the ground using white concrete. I then want you to take that 16th block again and extend it backwards, an additional 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. To which we then want to connect that down to the ground using white concrete also. You then want to extend that block to the right once more by 16 again. However, you do not have to count this out, as all you have to really do is line it up with where you started at the front of the build. So, place a few blocks coming across the back and then meet in the middle extending from the front. And you should end up with perfectly placed, there we go, a nice square shape. Connect the final corner of your McDonald's down to the ground using your white concrete and that should be pretty good. Whilst we are involving ourselves with the red concrete, I want you to place a layer of red concrete going all the way around the outside of the square of red concrete that we have placed. We are going for the much more traditional McDonald's look to separate ourselves from the other fast food restaurants. We are now going to place an additional layer of red concrete on top of the original row of red concrete. McDonald's, or at least the original version, and actually the McDonald's near where I live as well, kind of has a similar sort of structure to this still. It's just not red anymore. Once you have added another layer of red, we are going to do this two more times. We want to have a pyramid effect, which means we want to have a layer of red concrete that sits 
up and above and inside the previous layer. I've already marked out what we need to do. We need to add two more layers of red concrete going all the way around the inside of the top of the roof. So in total there are four layers to the roof. We have made right now three of those. We are going to add the fourth and final layer to the roof. It is worth mentioning that you will also want to fill the top of this roof in using your red concrete also. However, we are just going to make sure that we have the correct amount before we do it. So that is about as high as the roof will ever want to be ladies and gentlemen. So make sure that that is correct and then you can easily fill it in using red concrete or if you have other plans for your McDonald's such as you want to climb on top of it for some reason maybe you want to turn it into maybe you want to add some slabs up here instead maybe add a different color I'm going for a much more traditional red concrete look as I said I want to separate myself from all of the other fast food chains so I'm going to try and make a bit more traditional themed restaurants rather than going for their new modern counterparts and it will just make the city look a bit more interesting well, now that we have accomplished this, we have to do roughly the same thing on each side of our McDonald's. We have to separate the walls. So if we begin with the row of three white concrete that we placed at the beginning of the build, I want you to leave a gap of two going right of this row of white concrete, and then place another row of white concrete coming up from the ground up to the top of the structure. We are then going to leave a gap of two and then another row of white concrete coming up from the ground to the top of the structure. Now the middle row is different, we want to have a gap of three, that's one, two, three and then another row of white concrete coming up to the top of the roof. The final space you want to leave a gap of two and have a row of white concrete coming up from the ground to meet the top of the roof, just like this. And that is how we are going to divide pretty much every side of McDonald's. Okay, so for the moment, because I want to show you guys how this works, I'm going to get rid of the quartz slab and the grey concrete. And I'm going to grab oak doors and oak wood planks. The very left side of the front of our McDonald's is where a door is going to be. I know that the floor for my McDonald's is going to be oak wood planks. So I'm destroying the floor, replacing it with oak wood planks, placing a double door on top, and then light grey stained glass block above the doors. If you have different plans for your McDonald's entrance, feel free to change those materials freely. On the front of McDonald's, we want to have a row of red concrete that runs all the way from one side to the opposite side like this, right at the bottom, left to right. Place two rows of glass in the two empty spaces above each layer of red concrete. The front of McDonald's is a bit different from the sides. This is where there are most this is where there is the most windows. Once you have completed the front, I want you to come to the left side of the build. We have to copy what we did on the front onto the left side. What I mean by that is starting from this first front row of white concrete, you want to leave a gap of two in the ground and then place white concrete. Leave a gap of two in the ground, place white concrete. Leave a gap of three in the ground, one, two, three, place a row of white concrete and then leave a gap of two and then place a row of white concrete like this. So two, two, three, two, two. Very simple to remember. We are going to place red concrete at the base of every single one of these rows connecting from front to back. The first three windows starting from the front moving backwards are all going to be light gray glass pane. The final two windows are going to be light grey concrete. One of these is going to be an order board. Actually, both of them are going to be an order board. I forgot what side I'm on. Now that we've done that on the left side of the build, we are going to do the same on the back. It is identical. We do the same thing every time. We leave a gap of two, white concrete. Gap of two, white concrete. Gap of three, white concrete. Gap of two, white concrete. It's the same thing every time, ladies and gentlemen. And you might notice it is the same on the front. So if you line up, you can actually see we have the exact same deal on the front of the building. 
So, we are going to place red concretes at the base of all of these, and then we are going to place... Oh, not light stained glass pane. That's a mistake. On the back, we want to place red concrete at the base, connecting the left and right side together, and then light grey concrete everywhere else. Feel free to add windows if you like, but once we do the inside, you might notice why I have decided against it. On the right side of the build, I'm sick of repeating myself, but I'm sure you guys are sick of it too, but it's the same thing. We want to take this right front corner, and we want to move backwards, leave a gap of two, white concrete. Gap of two, white concrete. Gap of three, white concrete. Gap of two, white concrete. And connect them all upwards. It's the same on the opposite side, and as a matter of fact, if you want to, you can line it up with the opposite side. You can see that it is the same. Place a row of red concrete connecting the entire bottom together. I want you to make the front three windows glass. Make them exactly what I just said they are, actually, which is windows. The first three panels are windows coming from the front. The next panel here is going to be light grey concrete. The final panel at the back is going to be a, be a drive-through window. So simply place a little bit of glass on the right side, not completing the window area. Well, now that we have done that, ladies and gentlemen, we have done a huge amount of our McDonald's. Whilst we still have light grey concrete on us, I'm going to dig in front of the door, and I'm going to dig in front of the door six rows. All I'm doing is I'm making a pathway. You might need to count more blocks. It depends where you are placing this. And you may have to change the outside of your McDonald's as well. I'll explain more later on. I'm just going to get rid of the white concrete for now and grab quartz slams. It's time for us to do a bit of branding. So, I want you to use your quartz stairs. And it's important to remember that we will be doing this exact same thing on every side. So, I want you to take this inward row of white concrete here, the same on the opposite side, and the very middle of your McDonald's, which is the middle of the middle window, and above where we have these three different places, we want to place quartz stairs on top of the edge of the roof, like this, so you can see where we have marked out. The inward row of white next to the entrance, the same on the opposite side, and the very middle, which is of course the middle of the middle window. I want you to place quartz stairs coming up towards the top of the building, however, not on top, coming up towards the top. Place quartz slabs on top of the roof where the stairs would be. Do the same on every side. So on this side, the same. So it will be here, here, and here. It's the exact same position on every side. It is very symmetrical. And I'll show you in just a moment. There we go. So it's hard to see because I'm kind of in a cafe at the moment, but you can see the positioning. It's much easier to see on the other two sides. So here is... Here is where we want to be, and here, and here. So, once you have managed to do it once, I'm sure that you guys will have no problem completing it the other three times. Same position, every time, those exact same three places. And we just have this final side to do as well. So, stairs, 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 coming up towards the top, but not on the top. And then, quartz slabs just to feed inwards because you can kind of see from the the bottom of the build like you can see it coming up onto the roof and it just makes it look a bit better the one thing that we're missing now on top of the restaurant is the m the golden archers so the way that we position our m is if we come to the front middle of the building and we take not the first row of the roof but the second row of the roof we want to place in this position and this position one row away from the middle set of stairs, we want to place yellow concrete blocks. Raise them up by two blocks. One, two, and one, two. Place 
Inward diagonal yellow concretes coming inwards from both sides. And then a final yellow concrete coming inwards and down to create your M. Very, very iconic. I love that. The next thing that we're going to do is some of the outer part of McDonald's. So now that we have for the most part completed the building, I want to now just clear up all of the concrete that I have laid out on the ground for measuring purposes so that I can better show you what we have to do next. There we are ladies and gentlemen, that is much, much better. Now I can show you what you can do to decorate the outside of your McDonald's. And by the way, it's worth mentioning that depending on where you're making your McDonald's, if you're making it in like a city center and stuff, you're probably not going to want to have a drive through You might just want to kind of like have the building as it is now and maybe add a little bit of something around it. But I'm going to leave that decision up to you. So... The things that we're going to need to decorate the outside include stone slab, flowers, grey concrete, oak leaves, light grey concrete, yellow concrete, red concrete, quartz slab, and we even need some item frames and signs as well. Okay, so the first thing that I actually want to do is I want to place smooth sandstone slab left and right of the entrance that we made earlier. So just on the sides of the light grey concrete, place some slab decoration. I want you to place two rows of poppies, or flowers, or whatever, directly to the right of the path. Place a row of hedge, aka leaves, to the right of the poppies. I now want you to dig out three rows, one, two, three, right of the hedge. We are not yet going to fill these rows in. I want then want to I then want you to proceed 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 to dig out three rows of space around your entire McDonald's. So next to the hedge, coming across the front and towards the back. Why are we digging out these three rows, you may ask? That is because we are going to create a drive through. And my roads typically only need about three blocks space for a car. I like to make really, really simple cars that you can make loads of. I don't really like cars that are incredibly intricate that take way too long to make. I like simple cars, so if you have roads that you that are much bigger than like three blocks and stuff if you want to feed it in that way then you're probably going to have to make the drive through a tad bigger but as i say my cars are really really simple they're only a few blocks uh, a few blocks wide so hence why uh, i only need three blocks going all the way around mcdonald's like this and going all the way around that empty space by the way i'm going to place another layer of leaves i'm using oak leaves just because it kind of fits the vibe I'm kind of going with like an old school, not so, not so bright and in your face sort of vibe, or at least that's how it kind of feels to me. So I'm just specifically using oak leaves because they don't shine as much as some of the others. I'm going to place poppies in front of the right corner of the hedge. So two rows of poppies just to keep this thing kind of like squared up. I'm also going to place grey concrete where all of the road is going to be so depending upon what your road might look like you can choose to use gray concrete or you can use any sorts of other number of materials it is worth bearing in mind by the way just because you might use gray concrete for the road around your mcdonald's for the drive through doesn't mean that it has to be the same color as the regular road on the street I mean, if you guys have ever, ever like, drove around anywhere or even, like, lived life around a city or a town or wherever, roads are all sorts of different colours depending on what they're made out of, so it's not a massive deal unless you're looking for a massive amount of continuity. So, now you can see, and that, it fits really well, by the way, the grey concrete contrasts so nicely against everything else. The last thing, or second to last thing that we have to do is make the McDonald's sign. I have made this particularly difficult for myself because it actually has to go here and that kind of gets in the way of the cafe. So I might even perhaps make it on the... I don't want to make it on the opposite side. Okay, so the McDonald's sign 
I have designed it to go somewhere along this left part of hedge that sticks out in front of the actual McDonald's. So I'm going to grab light grey concrete, I'm going to square up with the edge of the roof here with this hedge, and I'm going to go forward maybe like, I don't know, maybe just like one row, like this. And I'm going to place seven light grey concretes on top of the hedge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. I am getting in the way of the cafe, aren't I? <laughs> oh well, they don't mind. I, I made it. I own the cafe. Place a yellow concrete in front of the top light grey. And place an upright and up left diagonal using your yellow concretes. Place outward diagonal yellow concretes coming down from both of the upper diagonal concretes. Extend the end yellow concretes down like this to create an M shape. And then we are going to, underneath this, and actually it, it kind of works out a bit better this way, place quartz slabs behind the bottoms of the yellow concretes, extend the quartz slabs inwards, place red concrete underneath those slabs, with quartz slabs underneath the red concrete like that, and that's a really cool sign. Now, if you kind of run into the same problem as me, where you are now really upsetting the people at the cafe, you can swap it to the other side, and uh, yeah, depending on what you've got built there, it might not get in the way, but I just wanted to show you how to make it how I designed it, so. The last thing that we are going to do, and I do mean the very last thing that has to do with the outside, is on the right side of the build, we are going to have a couple of advertisements for what you uh, can eat at McDonald's, and you guys know what you can have at McDonald's, I'm sure you've had McDonald's, I hope you have anyway, it's delicious. So, I am going to place some item frames on the upper light grey concrete areas here, and I'm going to have oak signs underneath the item frames. Now, what are these? What, is the, what sense does this make, you might be wondering to yourself, or even to me. So, inside of these item frames, we are going to place food stuff. And this is completely optional, hence why you wouldn't have seen this in the item list. But you might say want to like place bread in there, you might want to place chicken in there, you might want to place beef, you might want to place even potatoes. Where do they keep potatoes? I don't even know. Where? Eggs? Huh. Where do they keep potatoes, ladies and gentlemen? I, I, I don't want to... Alright, fine, we'll, we'll have to manually find potatoes. Potatoes, of course, being fries, being chips, being what, however you want to say it. Uh... Okay, you know what? I'm about to give up. I'm about to go- Okay, perfect, potatoes. So, like, on here, like, you know, maybe, like, bread kind of looks like a burger or a roll or whatever. Chicken, obviously. McDonald's sell chicken. They even sell fish, too, as well. So, beef and then potatoes. And then you might want to write, say, like, underneath the potato, you know, like, fries. You know? So, it's just kind of like a little bit of an advertisement for what you might get to order at McDonald's. So, feel free to add that or don't. Feel free to add the signs or don't. Feel free to put whatever you want in there or don't. And that is a really cool last detail to add to your McDonald's. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is the entire outside of McDonald's complete. It looks really good. We've done loads and loads of details. But, we are missing a whole half of the build. We have a whole inside to do. Here are all of the materials that we are going to be using for the inside. Please make sure that you have access to all of these materials. Make sure that you have enough of them as well. I, myself, I'm going to gather those materials too. I'm going to dump all these. I'm going to gather all the things that I've just shown you on the screen. Pause the video if you have to. We're going to be going straight into the inside once we have gathered all our stuff. Let's do it. So now I have all of my stuff. I hope that you guys do as well. Let's make the inside. So, first step, come inside. <laughs> We're going to start off with the ceiling to provide us some light. So, the ceiling is supposed to be not where this first row of the roof is, but where the second row of the roof is. The ceiling is made out of both red concrete and sea lanterns. The sea lanterns are built directly into the red concrete. Now, the reason that I'm using red concrete for the ceiling is it kind of made sense to me, because, well, the roof itself is pretty dominantly red, so why not just kind of carry on that theme inside? And it is going to take quite a bit to do, I think it's like a 17 block by a 17 block area, so those of you that are good at math, it's something similar to that anyway, will be able to tell us how many blocks that is. But once you have placed the ceiling, which is a bit higher than I usually go, we are going to place some sea lanterns. Now these sea lanterns are really easy to place, there are five of them, in each strip 
and there are four strips of sea lanterns. It's quite easy to figure out. So the first sea lantern that we're going to place in the ceiling, if you look towards the entrance, it is where the points between the white concrete rows would meet each other. So what I mean by that is if you like count forwards and to the right, like it's where it's the corner point between the two rows of white concrete, if that makes sense. And then following along, it's the same as you go backwards. So the sea lanterns are in line with the white concrete that we have in the walls. And the same applies here, like you want to place in total five layers of sea lanterns that coincide with all of the rows of white concrete. Did I say five layers of sea lanterns? I meant four. But we want to have sea lanterns in the exact same positions like on all sides. So again, like where the white concretes like would meet each other in the middle, you just want to have your sea lanterns. So it'd be here, right? And then here, there we go. So once you've figured out one row, it should be fairly simple to add all of the other rows. And it actually looks quite nice and it works very well because of course it's, it's perfectly balanced as all things should be. So we're now going to destroy the floor. The floor I have designated to be oak planks. Feel free to change that. You might want to use concrete instead. I said earlier that I'm kind of going for a bit more of an older, sort of more familiar feel. For whatever reason, oak planks gives me that feel. I like oak planks, I really do. They work so well as an inside material. They're just cozy. I don't know what it is. It might just be that particular shade or the familiarity of oak wood kind of being just like pretty much the most abundant wood that you can get. There's something about it that I like and hence why I decided to uh, use it. Feel free to use any sorts of other woods. I mean, spruce wood would look okay too. Birch wood would actually contrast and go nicely with all of the other materials that we're using. Feel free to use any sorts of concrete, iron bars, whatever. Iron bars, iron blocks. Iron bars would look weird as a floor, plus you'd be poking your feet the entire time as you're walking around. So, again, do whatever you like in the end, but th there's something about this colour scheme that I really, really do like. And once we have taken care of the ceiling, which we've already done, and once we have taken care of the floor, which we have almost done, we will be able to work out some of the other details. So there we go, we have a nice empty space. So when it comes to your McDonald's, the first thing that I'm going to do is make the counter where you would talk to a person, pay and order the food. The way that this counter starts is we begin by extending from this white concrete block on the right side of the building. We place 10 white concretes going left of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Lines up perfectly with that white concrete over there. Leave a gap of one and place a row of one, two, three, four white concrete joining to the wall. Going right of that white concrete that hit the wall, place three red concrete. One, two, three. Leave a gap of one and place three more. One, two, three. Like that. I want you to place two quartz stairs on the counter. They're going to line up with the white concretes that you have on the back wall. Like this. Those are cash registers, so again, that's where you would pay your actual proper money. In the back left corner of the room, I have decided to place one of those, er, I, I hope it's evident that that's what this is, it's like one of those touch screens that you can like order your meal without talking to anybody, which is what I prefer because I hate human interaction. So in this back corner we're going to place a red concrete and two quartz slabs going right of it, one two. Red concrete on top, two rows of yellow on top of the red, grey concrete in between, and quartz slabs on top. Later on we'll be adding more stuff that makes it even more apparent that that's what that little piece of piece of thing is. <laughs> okay, the next thing that we're going to do is place some seats, some chairs, all that sort of fun stuff, okay? So we're going to start with the front left corner of the building and place a row of yellow concrete in the corner. Place a single yellow concrete in the corner. Extend towards you by two, one, two, and right by two, one, two. I want you to place quartz stairs around the inside of this with an oak fence in the middle and then later on we'll be placing like tops of tables. I'm also going to have another one of these little booths 
and it is going to be directly in front of this triple window and it's going to look identical it's going to have three yellow concrete in front of it two yellow concrete poking out of either the left or right side stairs along the inside oak fence in the middle okay now it's time for some single tables so well single and kind of like double tables i want to have a table coming out of the white concrete area on the right of the building simply place a quartz stair an oak fence and another stairs on the opposite side do the same thing in front of this seating area here as well so like stair fence stair like that and then i want to have a few more seats on this wall here so we're going to have a double table coming out from the middle of the right side or left side of the build actually right here and we're going to have a table coming out of the back of this it's just going to be like leave a gap of one place a fence and then a stair in front of it and then i want to kind of have the same thing on the opposite side so leave a gap of one have a fence and then a stair coming out the side like that and what we're going to be doing with all of these you might be wondering to yourselves well we want to place the tops of those tables which requires birch trapdoors white carpet red carpet and yellow carpet so on the sides of the tables that are single i want you to place birch trapdoors along all of the quartz stairs like this choose a color top for the table red yellow or white doesn't really matter wherever you have the singular quartz stairs that aren't surrounded by concrete blocks we want to do the same thing we want to make sure that the table that the chairs look a little bit fancier than just them by themselves and we also want to make sure that the tables have a top do not think that i have forgotten about the other tables the ones that actually have like other stuff going on with them too but the end result should look once you've done all the single ones like this they just look a little bit better You'll of course want to add like, you know, red or whatever colour tables on top of the booth areas too. And to decorate the booths you may also decide to add a couple of flower pots about the place to look like drinks. I'm also going to add a couple of different carpets onto the countertops of where you would actually pay just because it looks a little bit brighter, a little bit nicer. I'm going to have two rugs made out of carpet one rug is going to lead and it's going to sit right in between here it's going to sit like here right between where all of the stairs are leading to the like where you would order your food and it's a double wide rug and it is made out of a mishmash of white carpet yellow carpet and red carpet so however you want to do it i mean it's it's kind of up to you just make it look random and it should be perfectly fine if you want to make it a pattern make it a pattern it, it doesn't really matter that much it's just about having like some nice colors that coincide with mcdonald's so it sits right here between like the counter and these chairs and we're going to have the same thing here we're just going to have a double rug slash carpet directly in front of the uh in front of where the cash register is like the pay point so that's what that's going to be just a double area like this here maybe red i might add a bit more red to this one like that i've inadvertently kind of created like a, a pattern haven't i that's crazy <laughs> but anyway that's the sort of thing that we want to have it kind of just really brightens up the room a lot when it comes to the ordering board here all we're going to have is like item frames in front of the gray area and then food stuff that you can pick from so exactly the same as what we have outside so whatever you want to put in there i'm not including those in the material list you know whatever you want to put in there you feel free to put in there so when it comes to decorating behind the counter of course we need a few things we will need some we'll probably need some more flower pots we'll need brewing stands cauldron furnaces chests tripwire hook we'll even need believe it or not some quartz stairs i think that's it for behind the counter so along this back wall we need to have a place to cook our food so a double set of three furnaces on top of the left counter space area the red counter space area here will do just fine a double chest in front of this area to keep stuff to actually cook in there would work well as well 
feel free to plant some flower pots along the surfaces just to kind of like keep up, keep up with like there's drinks all over the place and that sort of stuff, you know? Right of the furnaces, we're going to have a cauldron where you can, you know, like fry fries and all that sort of stuff. And it's going to have an extractor above it, leaving a gap of one place a quartz stairs above the cauldron. I'm going to place flower pots either side of the red counter area with a brewing stand uh, just in the middle and tripwire hooks coming across the top to represent a drinking dispenser place. And then you can feel free to add more chests as well. Like if you want to keep stuff in the chest, feel free to add some, maybe even one there. Well, you know, wherever you want to add them, feel free. I feel as though I would be happier if behind the counter we had a change of flooring situation. So I think I'm going to use some white concrete in this part. I'm going to use white concrete because it just seems clean and it contrasts against everything else. The other choice in my head would be yellow. I don't think yellow would work. I don't know why. It, 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 just the idea of having like a yellow floor back here just kind of, nah, I don't like it. So we're going to go with white. Feel free to make yellow or something. I mean, they're your three sort of primary colors anyway with your McDonald's. And that just looks a little bit more professional like that. The last little tad bits of detail that you might want to add around the restaurant might include paintings and lights. So I'm just going to have two paintings because I, I like paintings. One is going to be on the front of your McDonald's, right in the middle of the side. So it's going to be like here, and I want a single painting like that, and a single painting like that. They're both the ugliest paintings I've ever seen. The carrot is, the carrot is better, and I quite like that one too. I like paintings and stuff being on the inside of restaurants, because restaurants and fast food places and whatever you want to call them have plenty of decoration and stuff on the walls. So it just keeps things like nice and bright. You could have some over there as well. You could have some over here too. And I might even add them. So, uh, we might run into an issue, actually, with this flower pot. No, we won't. Oh, okay. So, maybe that one. That one's fine. So, maybe, like, one here as well. Like, on this side. Maybe, like, one here. You guys get the idea, though, right? I mean, you know, add... Oh, God, that's such an ugly painting. But I don't really want to repeat that much. So, maybe just, like, a couple kind of, like, placed everywhere. You can also place some lights, too, if you so choose. So, like, here and here, some torches. If you're looking for more light and what have you. But, like, it's a really pretty bright McDonald's. It's a really well-lit area. It's nice and colourful. And it's just kind of, like, a fun place to hang out. And, and that's kind of everything, ladies and gentlemen. Why, why don't we take a look at this thing now that it's all fully made? So, the tutorial portion of this video is over, ladies and gentlemen. We have actually completed the entire outside of our McDonald's and the entire inside as well. Hopefully, we are both looking at very, very similar things on our screen. We have our drive through we have our sign, we have a, an order board, we have a drive through window, the entire outside of McDonald's is done, we have nice decoration using the hedge, we have the flowers, we have absolutely everything that we could need on the outside of the build, and on the inside we have this pathway leading us to the entrance, we of course have loads and loads and loads and loads of tables, we have brightly coloured carpet telling us where to go, where to order our food, where to sit down, all of that, we have have a cooking area we have a drinks area we have a place to pay we even have like a high high technology fancy order board it's very bright in here it's nice and well lit it's just a cool place to hang out and i'm hoping that you guys think the same if you guys have enjoyed this tutorial how do i get out of here how do I get out of here? Ah, oh, there we go. If you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button. It really helps me in the channel out very, very much. It's incredibly helpful. Feel free to also list other city builds that you would like to see in the future. As you can see, we're making quite a collection already. If you are new around here, please consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button to ensure that you got my stuff sent directly to your sub box. Ring, 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 ring. Click the little bell. And on top of all those things, if you would like to make more city builds, so we have McDonald's, we have a cafe, Pizza Hut, Burger King, KFC, Starbucks, we even have Subway, all sorts of stuff coming up in the future as well. That's what we have right now in terms of new city builds. Feel free to check all of those out in the card system and the description below, and I'll even leave a link at the top of the comment section too. You'll see that pinned comment that will have a playlist. Feel free to follow that, and you can make all of these previous new city builds. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I appreciate all of you very, very much. I want to perch myself on the drive-through sign right here as I say goodbye. 
Goodbye. Also, I appreciate all of you guys very, very much. I really do. I love how much you guys have been loving these city tutorials. I don't know why I'm whispering. See you later. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.